Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Rob Built. I'm host Vladimir. Before we get started today, please don't forget to like or subscribe video because it really helps with Vladimir's YouTube analytics. Oh, this? No, don't worry, this is just water. Vladimir sober for four years after Vladimir accidentally put cat in microwave. And now cat don't look so good. And that's why we do meth once, but never twice. Good God, never twice. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rob Built. I'm your host, Rob, and if you're anything like me, I'm sure there's been a point in time where you found the perfect light fixture for your room, but you didn't have anywhere to wire it into. Well, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to convert a hardwired light fixture or sconce into a plug-in sconce. Now, the last thing that my grandfather wanted to leave me upon his passing was his hand, so I had it taxidermied into this super cool light fixture. I'm just kidding. That's my grandma's hand. Grandma? Oh, my. All right, so let's get into how you actually wire this thing up. You're gonna need a few simple parts that you're gonna get off of Amazon. Total, I think I spent about $15 on all this stuff. So the first thing you're gonna need is a electrical cord. Now I found a vintage style electrical cord on Amazon for about 10 bucks, it's 10 feet long, and it's actually got a switch on it as well. So you can control your, your sconce. You're gonna need what's called an electrical cord gasket. You're also gonna need a couple of wire nuts and some electrical tape if you got it. Um, so as you can see from my sconce, it's very uncommon here. The metal backing is very thin, but on most sconces, they're about one to one and a half inches thick. Uh, so I can't fully teach you what I was intending to, but the basics will still apply. So if you have a normal sconce, unlike mine, you're gonna drill a hole through the bottom of it where you want to feed your cord through. Now you can get these things off of the Amazon. They're called cord gaskets, and I'll link them down in my description below. You wanna drill a hole that's the size of this gasket right here, and then you're gonna feed it through the hole that you drilled in your metal backing, just like this, okay? All right, so one really quick tip is you're gonna wanna run your gasket through your cord first, and then you're gonna run it through the hole that you drilled, and then you're gonna take the other side of your gasket, and you're gonna run it through, and you're gonna screw it down tight. So if you do this correctly, this little space right here will be inside that hole that you drilled, and it'll be fastened very snug and very tight. It'll never move from this spot. And then you can make your electrical connections, which we'll get into next. Okay, so let's talk about making your connections. You're gonna connect your black, to your black. Just give it a kind of a pre-spin. You'll get your wire nut and you'll connect them both together like so. And then you'll get your white and your white and you'll do the same thing. Give them a, a pre-spin here is what I usually do. Run it through your wire nut. Give it a good twist. Okay. Your ground, just put it off to the side. If you wanna be super cautious, you can get black electrical tape and wrap it around your wire nut to prevent your, um, your wires from ever moving around. So they'll stay put that way. So this will stay in one spot forever. Once you've made your connections, you can then test your work by screwing in a light bulb and then plug in your cord. Moment of truth. Oh, baby. All right, I'm gonna turn it off because it's very bright, but you can cut the, the ground if you want or you can leave it. I recommend leaving it just in case you ever wanna transfer your light fixture to somewhere else in the house that there is wiring for. And one disclaimer, I'm not an electrician. I'm not telling you to do this. Do your own research, consult a professional electrician, yada, 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 disclaimer, please don't sue me. This is a super simple project that I think pretty much anyone can do. It should take you anywhere from five to 15 minutes to wire this thing up, just depending on your skill level. And it depends on how long it takes you to kind of drill through your metal and everything like that. Honestly, I think as long as you have a a drill and the bit pretty much anyone can do this uh, that's it uh hopefully a short and easy one please like subscribe and i'll catch you on the next episode of raw built okay vladimir says bye okay bye subscribe click one of these two videos right here